Hello, I'm Aos, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Uh, today is another dark and stormy night, and it's a perfect time for some more horror story. It really is dark and stormy. I, I wish the weathermen would kind of get it right for once. But, anyway, let's go on. Where did we leave them? We left them... We left them careening off a cliff. That's right. We need to get back to that. We need to rescue Barry. Uh, right here. The Anderson Farm. This part, this chapter. Oh. A little recap. It's been a few days. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right well, that's now. That's a concise You're recap. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Mm -hmm. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I know. Listen, I can bring her back. What I can find her. Again? There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them Just come here. true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. <laughs> it happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. I've already come to There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. Oh, here it comes. To find it. Look out! Ooh. Uh, goes. Ow! God damn it, I'll talk to me. <laughs> that looks like it hurts. Does it hurt? I know it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. You don't have a light either. We I found this out last time. Last episode. Barry! Barry! Oh man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man! What a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! <laughs> Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down though! It's like a sheer wall. No kidding. Is he carrying the cutout with him? He's obsessed with that cutout. What is with the cutout? Where is he? Barry. Oh, Barry. We're not supposed to remove berries from the forest. Barry. Where did Barry go? Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. <laughs> Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Oh, yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> Whoa. I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess he never messed with there anyone from New York City before, huh? He's taken. He's not really there anymore. Barry. There he is. You're gonna have oh. to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Okay. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm going to go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. He does. Don't worry about he has a, he has it. He's a cutout. Now he's Rambo. Yeah, this he's... This turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Why? I mean, this is some pretty serious character progression. Also, a little crazy himself taking care of that, that cutout and all that. Where are you going, Barry? Oh, he's just going through there. Cool. Oh, and a page. That's got to be a serious page if you can see it from all the way up here. <sighs> Keep on going, Barry. So, I think Barry's going just a little crazy too. He should be fine. Seriously, give him... Well, he's got a gun, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. He has a flare. Flare gun. That's what it is. Uh, so he has some sort of gun. Oh, and the birds are back. But he's, he's stepped up, man. 
And I would like to point out something very important from last episode. He was still jogging the whole way through. All the way through that, that field, uh, hay field there. All the way from the crash. Maybe a little bit of adrenaline going. But you, you can jog for like two seconds more. One, two, and you're all out of stamina. Puffin' a puffin'. Okay. Yeah, this is great. This is good for you. Run for your life. I shouldn't have tried that. He has no stamina left. Okay. Hide in here. Oh, boy. That is literally in front of the light. Why is it not... Thank you. Not. Where's the other one? No. Don't do that. Down here. Oh boy! Yep. Okay, what was screaming? Was that darkness? What's going on there? You know what? You can do your little flashing Morse code. Morse code. Ugh. Why is that stuck? Morse code. Morse code. I swear, the greatest problem speaking just basic English most of the time. <sighs> Probably explains a lot about the way I speak most of the time. It's, it's just none of it makes any sense, so everyone just kind of goes, yeah, yeah, sure, okay. Oh, it goes out completely? Can't have that. Oh, wait. This way? That way? I don't know which way to go. Also, who's screaming? We'll go this way then. We'll not go this way. Alan, invest in some, I, I don't know, get, get like a D-Link or something. Hook it around your belt. Have a flashlight on it. It's, it's an amazing thing what you can do with a little bit of hardware that costs probably a buck. At most. Even nowadays. Maybe two bucks nowadays. It's been a while since I bought things like that. So you, you, you hook the flashlight to it and you never have to worry about it. You can even get a, like a cable string. Oh no. <laughs> Ow. Um, uh oh. He has no stamina. He has no stamina. Don't come after him. He's, he's really out this time. Like, out, out. to destroy them to get through. All right. Oh, what? What what was that? Use? Use what? Use... Use you. Um, what is this pipe? Turn pole. Oh, it's a light. Right there. How do you turn it on? Down here? This? No. Uh, upstairs. upstairs. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Well, I hope that too. Alan. Alan, you went, look at that. Okay, those are like, we're going to give them a benefit of the doubt. That's like eight foot, eight foot standard boards. You went one, two, three, maybe four. Four of those. You went 32 feet, man. 32 feet. A... A kitchen is like 10 to 12 feet. You basically couldn't go from your living room to your kitchen. Something is seriously wrong with you. God forbid he ever gets hungry and has to actually fetch his own meal. I've seen your place. I've seen your place in a cutscene thing and, well, cut away. Cut away? Cut away. I've seen you place in a cutaway, all right? Your, your kitchen and stuff. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. This is my punishment for bad-mouthing, Alan. All right. All right, let's get through this, and then I'll continue bad-mouthing you. I'm not going to stop, all right? The, the stamina thing is unheard of here. 
probably not unheard of. I don't play a lot of horror games. But it does seem like it's a little odd. Oh. Uh, he teleported. I saw it. He teleported. Okay. Um, turn it on. Turn, turn it on. Turn these on. Okay. Uh, you. Okay. Okay, what what is what is the purpose of this? I just lost control. Was it because I, I pressed the button to <sighs> I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Okay. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. I wanted the batteries and he stopped doing what I wanted because he tried to run and pick up the batteries. Batteries are a bad idea. Okay, let's see. Let's go this way, and they'll appear right behind me. Hi. Uh, what is this for? Thank you. We're safe in the light. You're all healed up. Everything's good. The music needs to go away and pretend like it's not been here. Got two batteries from that. Is there anything else around? Anything good? Uh, Lady of the Light isn't really helping us out this episode. It's been like five minutes. It's been ten minutes. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. I'm just going to run up here then. You guys keep... Yeah, keep throwing things. I'm sure that's how uh, intelligent people communicate. <laughs> All right, is there a box here? No. <sighs> oh, that was cool. I like that. I wanted a good a look at the farm. Car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all is I that knew, the stage? Was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. He didn't leap, he was thrown from the vehicle. It went over a cliff, rocks falling. But you didn't pay attention to the sign that said, you know, falling rocks ahead. What is this? We already have a flashlight. Ooh, heavy duty. Yes, yes. Uh, ooh, more batteries. Alan, light. Right there, take the lantern. Take the lantern. You can throw it in someone's face. Well, I'll take it. Is there anything over here? No. Throw it in the Taken's face. It's a lantern. Alright? Oh. I swear, it's these little tiny things that irritate me. And it shouldn't be irritating me. It doesn't actually irritate me so much so. Hartman irritated me, like, outright. The car was heading for the cabin. Very well done again. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Damage? You, you're not putting a lot of faith in your friend. Oh, for a second there, I thought they had, had like carved runic marks or something there, being, you know, uh, Norse god kind of things. Not actual Norse gods, but, you know, the... Uh, yeah, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it. Uh, rocker personifications of such. That is an interesting board. Um, it's fine now. It's been fixed. Oh no. Well, that's a checkpoint. That's the house. Can we, like, get an eye on anything before we go sprinting? At all. Is there any taken? Nothing I'm seeing. Oh! Can't see anything I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses uh. of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He okay. was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. 
Okay, but is he dictating... I mean, you're getting these pages all wonky and out of order. Like, distinctly out of order. That, I still don't know how that Thomas Zane entry fit in at all. What is this one? Dark presence the dark large. presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Okay, I like that last sentence because it was not when the story reached the end it's when it reached the end it longed for so it's not necessarily how the ending is going to go very nice little detail and flares and crow and oh no does this mean there's more of those traps around what was I saying plastic I don't remember I had a thought before it went are you thought or memory I could use both Thomas Zane, how did his particular page about him and Barbara Jagger fit into the actual story of the manuscript itself? It seemed like a lore dump that didn't fit. I said that in last episode, but that is standing out to me. Why are these even here? I mean, don't do the lightning thing, alright? I can barely see them as they are. Let's see. Working our way through. Cool. Checkpoint. 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 I don't see. You. Okay. Heading for the light. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Why does it keep happening? I'm kind of angry at that point. I don't like losing control. I say as I press the immediately wrong button. I definitely pressed the right button before, it just hot targets. Manuscript page. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily yes. away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with Unafraid? Dial. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Okay. Cool. So, okay, so they're not afraid of this. They they faced it before, and for some reason, they don't have any fear of this darkness. They know something we don't. I mean, they, they seem to be kind of, I don't know, in charge more than they, they seem. <sighs> like old gods should be, I suppose. Alright, yeah, this stuff. Okay, great. Now we have 14 shots. That's not nearly enough. That's not a page, is it? No. Alright. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Let's see. And more crows. That's great. That's fantastic. Oh no. Okay, okay, three, two, one. Oh, you're right here. Hello. I did not count on you. I don't know where the next trap is. Traps are there. Okay. Okay, no, we're just gonna go. Where, where's the where's the path? There's the path. Can that trap hit you too? You moved. Don't move. These things are expensive. Oh, blast! Nope. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Run. I didn't realize how close I was. Okay, I can be out of breath and worried about that. I couldn't actually react. But you, you need to work on cardio, okay? Run for your life means something. 
I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. No sight of the driver. No sign of the driver? No sight of the driver. Why does that hit the ears wrong? I don't know. I mean, it works fine. No sight of the driver. The driver was not in sight. Hello? Ooh, Anybody okay. here? Ah! Oh, Barry! No! Danny! You're not... Danny! Ah! Please! Oh, you... What are you... What is... No! No! I'm sorry! You're the guy that was in the thing, right? I'll take the revolver stuff. You. you were in jail the other day. <laughs> I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not going to miss see. it. They're in the loony bin. Not anymore. They're, they're out. Buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. No, oh, he's taken. We got that before. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie the best friends suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway all right we'll call someone hello I was talking Okay, um, you have a nice nap. That's that's just what's happened here. It's just a nice nap. Okay. Um, can we close this door? No. Oh, right. Low bright. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the dark presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her and me and everybody I, in this town. Last girl is no a thing. Will survive. Final girl. That's what it is. Everything. Final girl. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me no, going. Like an orb on blue. To release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. How? I've written myself into the story. I'm Never now mind. the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. That's why you can't write true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Did Zane not exist any longer in this world for one reason or another until Alan wrote him into existence? Is it is it Thomas Zane or is it Alan Wake who is helping Alan with the pages and all that? Also, as I said at the very beginning of this series, you can make a story to whatever you want it to be. Hi! Just a little closer. There we go. Let me guess. Danny, huh? Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't even put that together. It just it was another take into me. Nameless, faceless. Another target. It's a video game. And I see a page. I guess kind of in the middle of the path. I guess that would be the middle of the path, though. Alright, let's check out whatever. I think I got the Odeer Diner. Yes, I did. I could climb out through the broken window. Yes, I know you can, but Paige, on the back porch, front porch, the porch. front door was locked. Front, see? All right. 
I know you could do this. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. But light? Paint light. Uh, page. Downstairs, downstairs, it's light. Light paint. Until you hear things like that with creepy opening the doors. And this? Oh, we'll get there. Hi! You're gonna make some fantastic jerky. It's already dead, alright. Might as well not waste it. What's breathing? Is that you, Alan? Flashbang, flare. Those are some serious weaponries. Yeah, I hear the breathing. Let's go upstairs. And unlocked. Alright, but I, I do hear the breathing. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, it's fine, but also nothing. I'm not nervous or anything. Oh, look. Hey, are we near the coal mine? That looks like the thing for the coal mine. Alright, let's go. Uh, Hartman considers Mott awake. Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more mm -hmm. difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Oh, here I thought Hartman wanted him to have, like, a, a longer period to create something. And, uh, you know, test his theory or whatever. He already knew, somehow. And, uh... Okay, so he wanted it right then and there. I already hate him. Nice job again, Remedy. Really going well with uh, how to hate characters in this story. For good reasons. Alright, hop in. Stealing a uh, dead guy's truck. If Barry wasn't up here, he was Ugh, probably camera. in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, i have made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Please stop with the camera. I just want to look forward. Yeah, I know Barry's Barry, and you are kind of responsible for that. I'm, I'm still saying you made him, like you literally wrote him into existence. In. Which is oh, just stop. All right, just stop. Okay, we're good. No, we're not good. It's back to this kind of driving. <laughs> All right, so to the right we have the uh, the Anderson Farm. That's a fantastic place. And to the left we have a certain doom. Let's go up to certain doom, shall we? Oh, and more light paint. I kind of want to run over the mailbox. I don't get the chance to do that in real life, and I really want to do that. And the darkness is back. That's great. Yes, go in here. Is there any chance we could have some more of that little happy fun time that is uh, Night Springs? I've been looking forward to that. Ooh, there's lots of paint. Yes, great. And you hear the breathing again. At all? More flashbangs. You don't... I mean, who is that supposed to be? Is she like here, right now? The, the lady of the light. The, the lantern lady. The... Whatever her name is. Cynthia Weaver. Took me a flippin' moment. Cynthia Weaver. Is she here? Is she outside? Can you see her? Oh, 
I kind of want to explore under here. Is this hers? You know what? We'll, we'll stay with this. I like blue. Blue's a nice color. Blue's a nice color. Alright. Whoa, again with the camera. We're going to go up instead of down. I want to see what's a big, shiny mountaintop place of, uh, of light. Tower of light. Up here. Eh, there's more clear cut going on. Uh huh. How do we get out? Thank you. Ugh. I swear that, that jerky camera is just giving me. Maybe it's not so bad on that end. It might be. The recording might be smoothing things out. But over here, oh. Alright. Well, it's not Night Springs, but I'll make do. So what was flashing there? Those those pillars flash? Hunting rifle. Why not? We'll switch to the hunting rifle. And let's tune in for a little Well, fun. as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning at the very least. Pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in wife? the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> There's a round of applause going to do. KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. Uh, run! It's actual music. I mean, I think that's a ride of uh, ride of the Valkyries, but still, it's uh, actual music. So run! Oh look, he's got a sickle. Oh, and you, welcome. Thank you. You know, the book signing was yesterday. I mean, we always have time for fans, but still, maybe time and place, you know how it works. Oh, look at that, you cut down a whole tree for me. That's, that's great. Why did I waste my time with that? I don't know. It was an opposition that I decided had to go. I could have just hopped in and ran. Also, is... Oh, don't do that to me. Is this the right way? Yeah, I could have just bypassed the whole thing with that other road, though. I mean, that's decent. Decent level design. What's with all the little trees? Oh, cool! <laughs> What? What happened? What went wrong? Nothing went wrong. Just keep on moving. And we keep on doing that. How do we focus? And I don't know why you're slowing down. Let's go. Oh, okay, maybe not that way. Are uh, we going this way? Whoa, 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 and that. Uh, do I have to go around? What, what's going on here? <sighs> also, what time of year is this? I mean, that those stalks kind of look green, kind of look yellow. I'm, I'm not sure. Just because it's fun. I guess we just go this way? Can I help out? Might be. Help out. That's good. And then oh yeah, they're just they're just gonna wander over. We're good. They're ways away. So what was going on? Uh you're stuck. Alright, 
Didn't anyone teach you not to throw things? bullets. Alright, moving on. Oh look, there's a checkpoint. Why didn't I just look ahead? I could have just ran to the checkpoint. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't. I was trying to channel Alan. <sighs> oh, hop off here and go where? Over to Big Old Barn, possibly? Over to stage? Oh, there's a tree falling. Yeah, so this is literally where you go. I thought it was something special. Oh, I was wrong. Ooh. Hello, honey, I'm home. No, the door doesn't open? Dude, what is wrong with you? That's it? Ugh. Did you just not write the inside of that building? Oh, more light! Remember what I said about the Lady of Light not helping us at all in this chapter? This is three times. Something's up. Uh-huh. Okay. And that way. I think she's leading me to this door. I don't know what's so special about this door, but obviously it's very important. The door opens. Okay. And she's breathing again. Flashbang, revolver ammo. I needed that, thank you. In fact, let's fill that up. In fact, let's double check everything's full. And I don't have one of those yet. We're good. Stay away from my daughter. Your daughter? Is she taken too? Or is she Grandma Darkness? Oh! What are you doing there? That was rude. I pressed the button, obviously, I need to be better with the timing. Alright. Ooh, we got some nice lightning! I loved how everything went black and white. It's kind of the theme thing going on here. It's great. Fantastic game. Absolutely. I don't use that word enough lately. I am, but I'm not supposed to. I'm trying to get away from it. Breaking old habits. I'm going to do a few of those. Well, that's a firework. I think. Or is that just a weird sign? No, it's a firework. Ooh. Oh dear, Daniel. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. But we heard about that. Huh? Oh, an instant cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, dear, Daniel. Okay, just a minute. Back, all right. I'm not saying anything. Got through. Cool. I know that name from somewhere. I'm not just Barry. Oh, there's nothing I can do about this music. If I have to mute this whole thing, I'm going to be so disappointed. Uh, this is basically what I'm going to do, though. Worst comes to worst, I'll, I'll mute it. What was that? I'm, I'm changing out a weapon? Whoa!
Yeah, no worries. Flashbang. Can't see anything. <laughs> because it wouldn't be fun otherwise. Oh, well, I don't know what that was. I just wasted a flashbang. Maybe I didn't. Maybe that was a flashbang going off. Being pummeled. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want that. Okay. I wish I'd seen that before. Oh. Yeah, so this is a health regen. I got you on that. And checkpoint. I should know that. Pick up three flares. Yes. Okay. Flashbang. Sure. Oh, and more. Boom. Oh, I love the fireworks. This is so cool. <laughs> oh! Hopefully they're not going to miss that. <laughs> that was awesome! Yes, it was. Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Yes, it is. <laughs> Child of the Elder God, rock and roll moment without dropping to low health state. I didn't? <laughs> Okay, yeah, gotcha. Um, I want the shotgun though. And I'm gonna pick up some more stuff here just because it's like shopping and I can. Uh, anything else? We already got Odier Diner here, so it should be fine. Oh, what's this back here? It's a page! Oh, is there more? Page, what is this? Mulligan? Who's Mulligan? Questions, Nightingale's orders. I don't remember Mulligan. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people. And a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. I don't know who Mulligan is. is was he introduced and I don't remember him? It's possible. Are there any more pages? I, I want to take a nice little quick look because there's no Grandma Darkness hunting us right now. And, uh... I love the Scarecrows. I normally don't say that. This is great. It's like they had, they built their own little audience. Their own little rockin' cool audience of creepy. Okay. Yes. Oh, and a ditch. Irrigation. Mm, happens. It's a farm. Oh yeah, because there's a there's a well. What's in the well? Can we hop in? Uh, it looks like it might be a dry well. That's fine. Okay, where is where is you going? We go this way. Do we go that way? You go that way? Okay. Oh, of course he had to. He had to rescue his best See, friend. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Barry? Sky? We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Okay. Um, I just want to point that out since nothing's actively trying to kill us at this moment. Storm, thunder, lightning, water, plus cutout. <sighs> Never mind. 
No, no, no. I don't know what's screaming at us a little bit there. Do I? I I'm, I'm, I'm running out here. All right. I, I, I want to know whether or not there's a page. And there could be just one on the other side. There is not. This is a waste of time and effort and energy. But I wanted to know. What is that? Shiny? I saw shiny. What was that? Was it just bad graphics card acting up again? Yeah, possibly. No, there is a page out here. I take it all back. I knew it was here all the time. Ignore the little question mark. As the deputies hauled Wake and Wheeler away, Agent Nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers Wake had been carrying. It was incomplete. A collection of random pages. Very random. But there was enough. He saw his own name in there, among others. His hands shook with emotion. Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. No. Yeah, I mean, just because you think you've got cor corroborating evidence of some crime that we are uncertain that has ever been committed does not actually mean that you have proof. You have a writer using his surroundings to create a story in a fairy tale and a fantasy. I would say that at that point, uh, Alan's not the one leave, living in a make-believe world. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Everything's fine. The cable's gonna break, isn't it? This is a horror story. Nothing is that simple. I mean, you didn't make me go up there just so Barry can have a monologue about his little cutout friend. Suck. Nope, Barry ran right wow. on in. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Well, you never know. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Okay, I get the picture. Stuck up. Big fight coming. <sighs> And also, that could be something about the Dark Presence, where you kind of fade away a little bit because of it. Your reality becomes more of a dream. Was that a page? No, that's a TV. Oh, but there's stuff down below. No, no, can we target stuff before we target? No? Alright. Uh, I want to have a look around. Oh, dear diner. And then we'll watch some tele television, all right? It's fine. Just a little bit of TV. Is that... I could have sworn I saw something flash here. It might just be all the lightning. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to say it's lightning. Do we go upstairs? Television? You know what? I'm, I'm going to just do the television. Sleep. Yes! Oh yes! Oh, night spring. Soft and bad. Somewhere Where's between memory. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? In night spring. How accurate is this then? Like for the world. The dream of dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones. He explores the endless dreamscape. Barry, knock it off. Oh wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? 
He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Yeah, precisely. Yeah, so yeah, we we'll get to the objective. To on, keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... Something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man. I got a wife and kids. Please don't wake... And the Night Springs just ends. It doesn't end like a normal episode. That's great. I love that. And yes, I went silent for the whole thing. I don't care. Night Springs is awesome. I like more of that place, Remedy. Also... There's a lot of correlations there between Alan Wake and uh, the whole thing here with, with what we just saw. Person doing the dreaming and all that. Is Alan the dream or the dreamer? So cool. Oh, that's, that's a little beacony. That's a little bright and... Oh. And there's a coffin. Oh, this place rocks. This is so cool. Okay. What was that? That's just light for some reason. Here. Oh, on some sort of totem stone? What is this? Are those names? I can't tell. The light won't let me see too well. I couldn't tell in the first place, but still. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. <laughs> Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. What? Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. In the depths of them, in the depths of what, of Cauldron Lake? I mean, obviously that's, that's what it's referring to. He cut out his own eye for that, for the Odin thing. I mean, who knows, avatars and such. Oh, that's, that's cool, that's really cool. And the Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Okay, I get what we're doing. Thank you. One sentence does does wonders for me. Get that. Nope, we're all full up. Um, I'm going to check out the light first, and then we'll come back to controls. Okay, lots of light. Not really giving me much. Oh, let's, let's see this, though. Yeah. Old Gods of Asgard. Uh, 1975 Ragnarok Tour. Cool. Celestial Wrath and Fury. Uh, you could skip Seattle. Um, well, they went all over. Down to Florida, back to LA. Not LA. Los Angeles uh, is in California. That is Louisiana? Louisiana. Wow. I uh, If you haven't seen other things I do, I don't know geography. Um, what is it called? Uh, the Pegasus Pro uh, Pegasus Prime, the Journeyman Project. Yeah, I had a geography quiz there. That took a lot. Geography is not my strong suit. I, I know what places are and where they are in reference to one another, but I couldn't tell you the street names. I couldn't tell you anything like that. It's that town over there. <laughs> 
Go, 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 go! Not really, he just damaged a boat. Actually, the boat would be fine. Oh, hi! You gonna come in? Cool! Oh. Hi! That's only two. Either I'm a better shot, or for some reason you guys are a lot weaker than the other ones. No, there is not a video I can go without counting things. I count things all the time. I really do. It's a bad habit I'm trying to break. Shotgun ammo, I've got plenty of. We're all restocked. Yes, it is! Luckily, we have uh, tractors and things nowadays to help us out. Would you just break already? Whoop. Why are you the same fisherman from before? How are you doing? Catch anything good? Got a few of the bullets, that's what he did. I think we can make it through here, Al! Uh, here, 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 here. Where is here? Barry? Hello, Barry. Come here, little Barry. Where are you? Oof. Hey, they had chickens. Oh, just out in the yard too. The yeah, Atlas is a great place. It's a wonderful little little chicken hot thing. No, oh, I better build. I built a big old house for them, and uh, they made a mess of it. <laughs> Chickens are dirty. If only it was so simple as like here. Whoop! Okay. Hi. I forgot I had those. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Um, do I have any more flashbangs? No. I'm surprised I'm not getting shot by the uh, straight power cables. Are you done? You're done. Great. Wow. Indirect means 20 of them. Have there been 20 of them? Oop. Do that one and do that one. Cool. I've defeated 20 with indirect means. I, I saw that one was like, you know, just the cable. What was I doing otherwise? How did they, how did they get defeated before? There. You know how expensive it is to replace a, a flipping vehicle, even an old classic like that? I mean, a little touch up of paint and stuff. Darkness really just doesn't care, does it? Alright, all the way around. Oh, you were just safely standing in the light, little coward. I know, the protagonist has to do the work. I get it. Um. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. I'm showing you. You know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm going to take a closer look at this stuff. Is he going to drink some of the moonshine? Yes, do. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Oh, no. All right. A barrier within a barrier. So... You're going to kick that, and there's going to be stuff up top, so... That was interesting. It wasn't quite accurate. <laughs> be careful, Al! Yeah, I got it before I even kicked the door, thank you very much. Uh, we're all caught up on this stuff, right? Double check that. Get some more of this. Nope, we're all good. Definitely use the shotgun, because it's going to provide you ammo. That means it's going to be something big. Remember me learning to shut my mouth? I 
did not learn to shut my mouth. You okay, Al? I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? Hey. Oh dear, diner. Oh, we stopped. It's all good. This is going up quite a ways. Well, why though? Uh, yeah, I see ladder. Okay. I see ladder. I don't want to see ladder. Uh, okay. Here's a radio. I might have to run from that. I'm going to be so mad if I have to absolutely, uh... <sighs> Pick the perfect lantern, that's what it is. A oh, lantern, not just a... Uh, I'm going to be so mad if I have to completely mute out the whole section with the awesome fireworks and rock and roll. That is just so totally amazing. I'll find out when I go to edit and do all this. Oh. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night. But mm -hmm. I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple it's of all of them. off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Oh, do tell. Uh, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. Sure you can. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare irons in the fire to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, usual a lot stuff. more of it. They go missing now, a lot. Is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. That happens to me all not the time. Not just me. Completely oh, uh, yeah, derails. Yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. <laughs> well, that's nice to hear at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. If there is I'll one thing I know, control. it's sure that thing, people yeah, who think sure they're thing, grown Pat. cause the most trouble for everyone else. And that is music I am running far away. This one I am not letting stay. Okay, and go, 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 go. I gotta get out of here before that goes up any louder. Save, quick, go. Move your butt, Alan. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side. Okay. Of the field. It wasn't far out. Right. I wasn't That's very cool. It's very Viking. Two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. I wonder if they're still in there. Like, just, they're killing their house. Yeah, let's restock. Uh, everything's good. Yeah, I know. I just made made sure. Oh no. Okay, so there's a refill there, so that means there's going to be a tractor or something that comes after us, and a bunch of little guys. Because this arena is way too big for anything else, and to have a restock means. Flare usage. Okay. You've got to be kidding me. That's a that's a thresher. That's not. Oh yeah, I guess it's kind of a thresher. Don't. Oh, and it's not going down. Don't come back at me and the little guys. Remedy, I know your formula at this point, and I'm not appreciative of your formula. I am, but not right now. Uh, where is you? Where are you people? Okay. Hello. Uh, I'm more interested in this going away. That would kill you, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's not do that. Oh, where are people now? Okay. 
you know, you lose everything between chapters, so just use it now or lose it. Oh no. Yeah, I know, they outnumber us a lot. God, you don't want to know how many chickens there are. One of the biggest sources of pollution in the world is the absolute insane amounts of methane that these creatures put out. And it's not all foodstuffs. I mean, milk and all the rest of it. We can do without milk, or at least limited. It's not good for you. Not healthy. Just randomly conveying this kind of stuff. I'm not sidetracked, you're sidetracked. <laughs> Is that it? No, no secrets, no goodies, no nothing. I mean, that's that's the way in. Why am I going this way? What am I missing? Should I try for the door first? I mean, this is kind of naturally leading me in this direction. Um, that looks bad. Looks breakable. Uh huh. And this goes around to somewhere. I don't, I don't understand what this is about. Do I hop down here? I mean, I obviously hop down. I don't... I probably shouldn't have, but I did. Open the silo for Barry. Okay. Okay, flashing light, almost in Morse code, means, uh, darkness is here. Oh. Oh. There goes my eyes. Ah, uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. You missed your chance to act like a Taken. He doesn't have a gun, remember? Hey, let's go, man. What was shining over there? Was that... I don't know. Uh, I think we're gonna have to work together to okay. open this gate out. Well, I wasn't sure what you were doing. Hey, I think that's the form on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This is this actually farm is a crazy place for crazy people. Well, I fit right in. Right at home then. Never mind. <laughs> oh, you gonna take that side now? Fine. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. Oh, chainsaw! I can has. Hook up some industrial lights to it, and then just go to town. Oh, old gods know the truth. I love that. Alright. I mean, obviously, yes, front door, but what's around the back? I mean, I got all the uh, radio broadcasts, I never do that again. But, uh. What's all back here? Oh, this would be a killer backyard. I love this. I say things like that and then realize what I said. Killer backyard. Oh! We've got some support things. Is the house shifting? I don't know. Weird, but cool. Alright, let's go inside. I had a nice look around. Lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. You first. Oh! <laughs> oh dear dear. All right. This was awesome. This whole chapter has been so much fun. And the Valley of My Shadow. Oh, it's so cool. So that's what's with the... Uh, did the painter do the artwork for them? It's cool. Examine. I will examine that in just a moment. I, I'm supposed to find light and... Page? Is that page? No, just drum set. All the right. power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Sure. Oh. Old Gods of Asteroid. Yeah, cool. Um, where is fuse box? Oh, oh dear diner. Is that two in the same place? Where is fuse box? Mine's in my kitchen. Where's yours? Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on, huh? 
a little help would be appreciative and not demanding things of me. Like, oh, it's not on the first floor. Okay, you said it was like downstairs. No, you, you, know, you were downstairs. Lived it. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Oh no, right in the middle of the path. I'm gonna guess it's straight ahead then. What's behind us? It's a locked door, it's behind us. They have so many guitars around. Alright, let's take a look. The mystery of the missing week. Oh, that's right, he was gone for a whole Again, week. Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Like when? <laughs> I know you, you have yet to be arrested and that's going to happen. Okay. I... Mentally, I'm looking at this house and I'm automatically going, why the heck is the fuse box in the bedroom? I'm going to go with the Anderson brothers wanted to make sure the fuses were nearby where they slept. Mind you, there's other bedrooms in there. I don't know. Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talking about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Yep. That's gotta be, what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Yeah, I know Sophia it is. Weaver. Right, must be. It's skipping. The key. None of it happened until they got the key. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. Moonshine. They both have the moonshine. I'm sorry, man. No, seriously, because I know we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? Even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you. Couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> nice power <laughs> dad. <laughs> so Barry is now going to be seeing things as well, or at least you know something of himself is gonna be a little different having had the moon moonshine. The Is this where it happens, where he sees the, the week that was gone? Yeah. Damn it. Oh, we're back. We're back at the beginning. Alice! 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 
I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy, drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. Suppressed, I was there, An out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Yeah, also, bird leg cabin? Did I miss that entirely in the first... In that first episode? I mean, I don't remember that. Could be. I, I was otherwise distracted and commenting on things, so possibly. Let's go around. this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out Alice. what had happened that Alice. night. Oh. Uh, you're telling me there's nothing here? You're a little... Fine. Fine. Look around in my own time. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking did. into the darkness. <gasps> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Yep. <gasps> Wait, what? I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Can we go out here? We can't go out here. Alice! Jagger had Alice. Alice. And so she had me. Alice! This works. I'd been easy prey. Oh, whoa. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Grandma Darkness, what'd you do? Where'd they go? Grandma! You know, th this is very true to Alan. The he dark presence can't had run, me. even as a she spirit. She dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Oh, I missed her. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Okay, that sounds like fun. That's great. See, Grandma Darkness is just... It's marriage counseling. Grandma Darkness is doing a marriage counseling. Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. Uh, no, no, no! It doesn't work like that. It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. Listen to Grandma Darkness. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. Trapped with Shadow, I see that? That was very cool. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. Okay, I know this is stuff that she, she wants, but it Alice, sounds very... And the manuscript was the ransom for her. It sounds very intelligent. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. She saw us. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. To bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. So the manuscript is unfinished. Zane was weak and far away. 
But I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. Okay, so has she been wandering around in that flesh and skin and all that? I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Okay. Is it going after Zane first? Or... The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I am raptured, this is so cool. Oh, and we're right back to that. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, hush, 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 hush. I'm leaving tonight's episode of Alan Wake right there. Uh, we had the best, the most awesome rock and roll experience. Thank you, Poets of the Fall, old, old gods of Asgard. Hopefully, I can keep that in and not have to mute it. If I have to mute it, I'll, I'll mute it. But, uh, and I'll find something else to put in. It was a amazing experience great gameplay i love that we got to stock up and we didn't have to worry about anything we just cut loose beating up the baddies and i'm surprised i didn't drop into low health that was a, a nice little <laughs> icing on the cake achievement there and uh next episode we will start with alan having been arrested so yeah until then uh thank you all for joining me and as always have fun everyone that Go play that sequence. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> See you all next time.